Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do this really cute little crocheted necklace or a crocheted choker. Um, all you're gonna need is you're gonna need your crochet hook and what I'm using is a four millimeter crochet hook and I like using the shiny yarn. So I'm gonna use the shiny yarn and then um, all you need is some scissors to do this with. And um, make sure when you do it, um, that if uh, you use a different kind of yarn than I am, that you're matching your uh, crochet hook to your yarn size, and it'll tell you on the packaging for yarn. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make a slip knot. And if you don't know how to make a slip knot, I will put that in the description below um, so you can figure out how to do that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chain 101 stitches. And when I get to that 50th stitch, Stitch. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark that middle stitch um, because I'm going to make a little bit different um, shell stitch in the middle and um, guys if you like what you're seeing please consider subscribing to my channel um, if you like the video hit the like button and um, leave a comment especially have, if you have any questions or um, or if you have other videos that you would like to see um, leave me a comment below and here I'm just doing the 50 and then what I did was I didn't have my stitch markers with me so I just cut a little piece of yarn there and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put it through that 50th stitch there. And um, then I'm just gonna continue on. That way I can just mark that stitch. And that's a really easy way to mark your stitches if you don't have a stitch marker that's handy or anything else with you there to mark your stitches. So now I'm just going to continue on and I'm gonna do my next 50 chain stitches. And then after I get this 50 done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slip stitch in that second chain from my hook and I'm going to show you how that is. Um, also most of what we're going to be doing here is slip stitches and um, chain stitches and then um, double crochets. So link that video in the description below or all of those videos in the description below. So now I'm done with my um, chain stitches so I'm going to work in that second stitch from my hook. So that stitch right there, and I'm going to slip stitch in that second stitch from my hook. So not the first one, but the second one. So there's, and I'm gonna do that 15 times. So I'm going to make 15 slip stitches on that chain there. So just, again, I'm going to do 15 slip stitches on the chain. And I'm just working down that chain and then after I do my 15 stitches, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to skip two stitches. So I'm just skipping two stitches and in that third stitch from my hook now, I'm going to make five double crochets. So just in that third stitch from my hook there, I'm making five double crochets. So there's one. two, three, four, and then five. And now I'm gonna skip two stitches. So you skip one, two, and then you slip stitch in that third chain from your hook there. So I'm just gonna slip stitch and then I'm gonna repeat the pattern. So I'm gonna skip two stitches and I'm going to do five double crochets in that third chain from my hook. And I'm going to do that six times total. So I will have a total of six shells in that chain there. So, and again, I'm just repeating that pattern. And really what I'm doing is I'm repeating that pattern until um, I get to the middle stitch that I marked. And when I get to that one, it's when I'm going to change it up just a little bit. And it's gonna be the one, it's gonna be the one that you do right after that middle stitch. And so here, again, I'm just repeating what I was doing before. So that's, 
I skipped two there and now I'm skipping two and I'm going in that third one and I'm just going to do five double crochets in that third from my hook and then after I'm done there I'm going to skip two of the chains and do a slip stitch in that third and then I'm going to skip two and then do five double crochets in the third and then the five that cluster of five double crochets is your shell so just doing the cluster of five double crochets and then I'm going to skip two and I'm going to slip stitch in that third one and then I'm going to continue skipping two and then doing the five double crochets in the third and I'm just going to keep on doing that so this next one what I'm doing is I'm going to skip two and then I'm going I'm going to skip two there and here what I'm doing is I'm slip stitching and now I'm going to do three double crochets and then I'm going to chain one and do three more and there I was just counting so I'm going to skip two and in that third one I'm going to do three double crochets chain one and then do three double crochets so I'm just doing one two and then three that's my three and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one then after I chain one, I'm going to do three more double crochets all in that same um, chain stitch. So that's two there and one more. And now I'm just going to repeat the pattern again and I took my stitch marker out. So I've got six regular shells and then I've got the, the uh, seven there or the seven stitches there and, and that middle one what would look really cool with that is if you put something like maybe a little pendant or something like that in there that would be cool now I'm just going to repeat what I was doing before so I'm going to skip two I'm going to slip stitch in that third and then I'm going to skip two and then I'm going to do the five shell I'm going to do that to the last 15 stitches so Again, I'm just doing my five double crochets right here into that um, third from my hook, that third chain from my hook. And then I'm going to skip two and work a slip stitch into that third from my hook. And now I'm going to skip two and work the five double crochets into the next um, into that third chain stitch and then I'm going to repeat that pattern and I'm going to have um, six on one side six on the other side and then of course that larger one in the middle and um, here one thing to think about too is it doesn't matter if you get off a stitch if you have one more stitch at the end or one less stitch at the very end when we're doing those slip stitches that's okay you're really not going to notice it so I wouldn't frog the whole thing just because you're off a stitch or two here or there really that's not going to matter at all and now here I've gotten to where I'm almost at the end so I'm thinking I've got one more time that I'm doing this and um, then I will be at the um, at the place where I do my 15 my last 15 slip stitches at the very end and then uh, no look I'm doing I'm counting now let's see how many do I have up I need to do I need to do it one more time so here I'm just going to repeat that pattern, skip two, work in the third one from my hook and I'm going to do the five double crochets to make that last shell and then after that I'm going to do my um, the last part which is the um, fifth, 
15 slip stitches. So here I'm just going to slip stitch 15 times and that's just all the way to the end and you don't even have to count those really if you don't want to because if you're off one, two, here or there then you know that's that's okay it really doesn't matter it's going to look great even if you're off just a little bit and again if you liked what you saw please um, subscribe to my channel push the like button ring the bell so you're the first to know when new stuff comes out got lots of fun and exciting stuff coming out so now I'm just cutting it and I'm going to do just uh, one last chain there to kind of close that stitch off with and now I'm going to tie it and that's how I'm going to end this one is I'm just going to tie it and I'm going to do that three times just to make sure it's really really secured um, if you wanted to you could work those in you could tie it and work them in or you could tie it and just put a little fabric glue on the end too but this is going to hold really really secure so i'm confident and there you go guys here is your shell stitch necklace let me know what you think in the comments i hope you had a great time crocheting this and happy hooking everybody